Hi everyone, it's another day, very nice, even though it's snowing, it's, it doesn't have to be sunny to be a nice day, but today is the 22nd, so we read Proverbs 22, and the verses that I liked were 17 through 22, and it was saying the importance of paying attention to the Proverbs, we've been talking about Proverbs for a couple of weeks now, but the most important part is to, like, live it out, like, it's, it's cool to, like, talk about it and understand it, but... It's even better when you can teach other people. That's how you really know you know something is when you're able to tell other people about it. So, And people can observe it from you. So, yeah, it's important. And that has something to do with verse 17. Yeah, you could get all this knowledge. You could get all this information and revelation. But in verse 17, it says this verb, apply. It's all about application and putting it to use in your own life. Apply thine heart unto my knowledge. After we listen, bow down thy ear, and we hear and we're acquiring more words of the wise, it is a pleasant thing if thou keep them within thee, they shall with thou be fitted in thy lips, that thy trust may be in the Lord. There's a lot of updates that we hear, you know, the press conferences. There's a senator from Kentucky, Rand Paul, who now has the virus. The Lord is in control. And something that I didn't know, I didn't know that uh, this Republican senator was an ophthalmologist. And he went to Duke University and all that. This is an equal opportunity <laughs> exposer and um, virus. It doesn't matter if you are Republican or Democrat, rich, poor, young, old. So let's all be ready. Let's all prepare and um, trust the Lord with all our heart. Amen. All right. Um, the next, uh, other chapter that we read was Ecclesiastes 5. And I like the verse. I like verse 13. Riches lead to the downfall of those who hoard them. Um, any type of hoarder is... Not a good one. So when you think of hoarding, I think of people like with junky I don't know, addicts or something. But and it's also the same when you hoard like your money. I'm not saying you don't have, you don't have to be like like just throwing it away, like giving it to like homeless people or something. I mean, it's it's, it's, it's I guess it's cool to do that, but especially now. Uh, and also, um, you want to help other people because the money is going to be here when you're gone, when you die. So instead of worrying about the money that uh, it's just paper and then you should focus more on the relationships that you have while you have them because you won't have them for long it moves so quickly it moves so quickly and speaking of that I you know with all this time I <clears throat> got a chance to connect with my childhood girlfriends earlier today and they were saying well one of them was saying yeah Michelle we're the Madeers now we're the Madeas we're the ones who are praying and talking about our nieces and nephews and our kids in college. We're the older ones. And I said, man, this is the first time that I'm really kind of feeling my age. It's a blessing. And this goes with uh, Ecclesiastes 5.15, what you were saying. Yeah, you know what? It's not good to hoard. It's, it's good to bless others right now because we came from our mother's womb there and we're going to go right back out naked. Now, we were talking about one of our friends who, you know, donned uh, her birthday suit and kind of covered up just a little bit. We're not talking about that. We're talking about blessing others with the things that the Lord has given us for time being with wisdom and love with his spirit, not that craziness. Amen. Why? Because we Come into this world with nothing and we will leave. First Timothy 6, 6 says, but godliness with contentment is great gain. And again, verse 7, we can't carry anything. There are no U-Hauls. There are no backpacks. There are no purses in heaven. So let's bless others while we can. Let's give the wisdom and the, the knowledge of God while we can because um, time is winding up. We don't know when any of our time is up. All right. Timotheus, where are you? We're here. Okay, about to close out. So long. So long, he said. Have a good evening in the Lord. Enjoy his riches.